Right, welcome back guys. We're going to get back into the multi-sampling editor in Anna 2 again. And I'm going to take a look at another application that we can use this for too. Let's check this out. We've got another initialized preset here. I'm going to turn down the voice on the first oscillator once again. Just going to take a look at my sample directories here. Uh, I've got the Sonic Academy Ultimate Drums. Let's just load up some single drum sounds. We've got a progressive house. And... Let's expand this here quickly. We're going to bring in some drum sounds into the multi sampler. So let's bring in a kick. Uh, we'll bring in a clap. Uh, we'll bring in some hat sounds. Or let's bring in a snare too. Uh, we'll bring in a closed hi-hat and open hi-hat and maybe some percussion And a tom. Great, so I think that's enough for this demonstration. So we've got a number of different uh, drum sounds in here currently. They're not mapped correctly at all. What we need to do is quickly first select all of these. And this time around, we're going to map to consecutive, which would be for drums if we click key ranges map consecutively you'll see from c1 it's going to automatically hit the first one down there and it's going to map them in sequential order so c1 c sharp one will be your second sample here we go perfect uh, so you could re rearrange these as well if you want to kind of line them up with um, sort of general MIDI standards, usually a, this one would probably be your F sharp, would probably be a hat normally, and so on. But I'm just going to leave it like this as it is for now. I can also access these from my drum pads easily now. C1 is usually the default for a drum kit to start at. Now this is pretty simple to set up, uh, but there's some interesting things that you can do here. Once again, if you were going for sort of more realistic sounding drums, you could do multiple velocities per drum hit as well. Uh, but let's take a look at Anna's Chord Manager and Appreciator, because the Appreciator in Anna 2 is quite unique, and we can leverage that for a pretty cool functionality when we're working with multi-sample drum sounds. Uh, so what we're first going to do here is turn the chord manager on and uh, we're going to just set up a, um, a chord that will play. So we can tell this to learn and I want to basically get this to play all our drum sounds. So I can just hold down all the drum sounds that we have on the drum pads there and you see it's selected all of those. Right, so we've uh, basically created a chord with all of the drums playing at the same time. Uh, we'll turn learn, learn off now, and you'll see that we have this chord like memory location mapped to C3. So if we play C3 now, we're playing all of the drum sounds at exactly the same time. Uh, now what we can do is we can head over to the uh, appreciator inside of Anna 2, and let's turn this on. So it's running up and down uh, through that, it's basically a chord now and it's appreciating that chord. But the way that uh, Anna 2's uh, op works is that you can actually have sort of uh, chords playing in multiple um, notes sounding at the same time. So note one in the chord would be this line, yeah, note two in the chord would be that line and so on. So you can see where I'm going with this. You can actually use this as a sequencer to actually create your own um, drum loops inside of Anna 2. Uh, once you've set up the multi-sample drums like this. So we could uh, go and clear the entire op. We know that note one is going to be a kick, so we could put our kick in there. Uh, let's go with a snare on every second beat. Maybe put in like a little clap there as a ghost note. And uh, we've got our 
hi hats in here. Draw some of those in. Uh, we've got our open hi hats, I believe. There we go. And note six and note seven would be, I think, the percussion that we had in there. And let's just put a hi hat in there. We've come up one octave and we can put the tom in here somewhere, I think. Right, so let's uh, dial up my tempo here slightly. Let's go to 128, and I'm going to play the C3 for the chord manager. And there you go. So really nice to play around. Uh, obviously, you can set this to longer than a 16-bar loop as well. You've got 32, 48, and 64 steps in total that you can play around with. Uh, so you can come up with some pretty interesting little ideas inside of this. It's like a nice little sketch pad, this for kind of creating some drum loops and also just easy access to sort of a starting point for a track. And then obviously, you can take this a little bit further and apply effects uh, internally inside of Anna. Uh, any of these effects can be Add it on you. Let's go with the multi compressor, for example. We could dial up a little bit of reverb. Maybe bring some distortion. That's multi sampling drums and actually sequencing them inside of Anna 2 using the new multi sample capabilities. That's pretty much it for most of these sort of main features with these uh, multi sampled oscillators. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Thanks everyone for watching. We really appreciate all the support from you guys. If you love this video, then smash a like. And if you want to be notified about new videos, hit the subscribe and notification buttons. Thank you.